Hi creators, in this tutorial I will show you how to quickly import video clips, audio and images, edit, add titles, and export a final video in the DaVinci Resolve 16 free version in about 4 minutes. This method utilizes the editing window, not the cut page. This method is very similar to editing in Adobe Premiere or Vegas Pro. For an alternative method using the new DaVinci Resolve 16 cut page, look for my quick start cut page editing video on my channel. For now, let's get started. At Startup, from the Project Manager, click New Project, name the project, and press Create. Select the Edit window by clicking the Edit tab at the bottom of the workspace. Make sure the Media Pool is activated. Drag and drop media files such as video clips, photos, and audio clips directly from Windows Explorer or Finder on a Mac into the Media Pool. If the imported video clips do not match the resolution, aspect ratio, or frame rate of your project's master settings, a dialog box will pop up asking if you want to change the project settings. Click Change to allow the project setting change, or Don't Change to keep your project settings. Populate the timeline. There are three ways. 1. Arrange the order of the video in the media pool. Select all the clips by pressing Ctrl A on the keyboard, Command A for Mac, left mouse click and hold on to the clips, drag and release on the timeline. The order set while sorting is now the order of the clips on the timeline. 2. Individually select each media clip by using the left mouse button. Click and hold while dragging the clip to the location desired on the timeline. 3. Make sure the inspector, metadata and mixer are all turned off in the upper right. Turn on the source viewer by clicking this button. Drag and drop a media pool clip to the source viewer. To select a portion of the video to import in the timeline, press the I for in and O for out. Hover over the source viewer and click the video icon and drag the video clip into the timeline. In addition to these three methods, audio clips, video clips, and images can be directly dragged and dropped from Windows Explorer or Finder on a Mac directly onto the timeline. Clips can be rearranged on the timeline by left mouse clicking and holding the button while moving the clip around. Audio or video clips can be copied by holding down the Alt key, Option key on a Mac, left click and hold the mouse button and drag the clip onto a new track or a new location on the timeline. Resolve video performs on a stack. Video clips on the top of the stack are displayed, lower clips are covered up. For audio, all audio tracks are played simultaneously unless they are muted by pressing the M icon on the audio track or select individual clips and press the D key to mute the select clips. Zoom in by sliding the zoom bar in the timeline window. Click the plus icon or control plus shortcut keys, command plus on a Mac. Drag through the scroll bar at the bottom or under the source viewer to scrub through the timeline. Press the home key to jump to the start of the video, end key to jump to the end. Zoom out by clicking the minus icon in the timeline window or shortcut keys control minus, command minus on a Mac. Press shift Z to fit the entire timeline in the window. If additional trimming is needed, click the razor icon button. Slice the selection of video or audio you want to remove. Left mouse click on the trimmed clip. The clip will turn red. Press the backspace key to delete the selection, but leave the space in the timeline. Press the delete key to ripple delete the selection and close the gap on the timeline. Using the delete key, if there are any other clips above or below the deleted key in the timeline, a corresponding portion of each clip will be removed to close the gap. To undo at any time, press Ctrl Z on a Windows machine or Command Z on a Mac. Adding text. In the upper left, make sure Effects window is selected. Click the Titles category. Drag and drop text to a video track above all other video to the desired location. In the Properties window, type in the text title. Change the font and change the size of the text. Change the text color, change the position, and add a text stroke if wanted. Add a music soundtrack to track 2 in the timeline. Select all of the audio track clips, right click and select Normalize Audio. Trim excess audio and fade at the end of the audio track by grabbing the audio volume handle at the end and dragging it to the left. Turn on the mixer window in the upper right corner. Adjust each audio track to the desired level and set the main audio level. Click the Deliver tab at the bottom of the screen. Select your desired output format including any of the presets like YouTube. Type in a file name. Click Add to Render Queue. Select a destination for the output file. Click the Start Render button. All set. Enjoy your video creation by opening the file. 